There are three main tools in game in Minecraft Education Edition for classroom management. They are border blocks, allow blocks, and deny blocks. Let me show you briefly how each one works. Border blocks are basically a border that goes to the top of the Minecraft world all the way underground to the bottom of the Minecraft world to bedrock. You can see them represented by this red block here in front of me with a sparkle graphic that goes up in the air. You can actually bury border blocks underground if you don't want to see them. However, as a classroom teacher myself, I often recommend to folks they leave them visible um, so that students aren't confused why they can't go past this bordered area. The way that border blocks work is I can dig here down below, but if you see as I click rapidly on my screen, I can't dig through the border blocks, I can't place anything above on top, uh, and I definitely can't go underneath. If I double click here to fly up in the air, I can go full speed, but I can't go past the border blocks as well. So they're an invisible barrier that goes all the way to the top of the world, all the way down to the bottom of the world. If I go over here to this third one, the deny blocks are actually blocks that you place on the ground to prevent uh, students from building on top of them. So if I hold this stained glass in my hand, you can see I can obviously place that anywhere here on this grassy area, but you'll see that same black graphic over here on top. A typical example of this might be that I've built a space in the world that I don't want my students to destroy while they get their work done. I can place deny blocks underneath it to protect that space. Lastly, allow blocks. Allow blocks are a block that makes pretty much no sense in typical Minecraft because obviously you can build or destroy wherever you need to. But we also have a command called immutable world. And the way that command works is I type the slash key on my keyboard. I start typing in the word immutable. When I get to one command, in this case immutable world, I can actually use the tab key on my keyboard in order to auto-complete this command and save me a bit of time. And I'll finish this command off with the true because this is a boolean which makes it have a false or a true statement to control whether it's on or off. So I'll turn immutable world to true and hit enter. And now I have basically the opposite of Minecraft, which is I can't build, I can't destroy anywhere in this world. The only area I can do that is over here on top of the allow blocks. The way that allow blocks would typically be used in a classroom is I might want to set spaces up in my world for students to be able to demonstrate their work and to do so in a space where I know exactly where that work's going to be. So I don't need to worry that one of my students built their math project up on the other side of a mountain or next to a river. I can set up spaces directly for them and I can hop into a Minecraft world and see their work in those specific areas of the game.